Uh, so today we're going to talk about meditation and what is it used for, uh, how is it used, and how could that be applied in therapeutic ways. Uh, so meditation is not relaxation, so let's make that difference. <laughs> meditation is the process where we uh, focus on a um, certain object or, or scent or sensation in order to narrow the mind to a specific thought or observation, right? So it, we also use meditation in order to uplift the mind uh, or to connect with something that is inspiring to us or um, something that greater and higher than us. So a traditional meditation is used to connect with, so, so to speak, uh, universal power, or sometimes we call it God, right? So originally it has been designed for that. In our days, meditation is used to um, calm the mind, clear the mind, um, observe our thoughts, become aware of our thoughts, so basically to, um, to obtain this uh, st state of calm observation. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend meditation using as a coping skill in any any time you experience some sort of turmoil in your mind. Meditation is a regular practice uh, done with the intention to uh, obtain a certain state of mind. Uh, for example, if we, if we practice meditation regularly and we begin to experience peacefulness and calmness during those states, whenever the mind is turmoil, when we experience some sort of strong emotions or strong thoughts, obsessive thoughts, uh, we can remind ourselves what it feels like to feel calm, peaceful, clear. Um, so we can remind ourselves in those states, but a meditation would not work when we actually experience turmoil in our minds. It will be really hard to focus. It won't, won't make a difference.